Hello everyone. This video is going to be about something I probably should have done a long time ago. Um, so often when I take a toy pick, I'll take like a bunch of pictures and then I'll, I'll kind of layer them together in Photoshop. And I don't always show the editing side of the photo. What I usually end up doing is I'll, I'll film me taking the photo and what I do there and then I'll just post the, the final product of the shot without me really showing how I edit it. And a lot of people ask me like, can you please show us how you're editing this? Like, can you please show us like, how did you just like take a sparkler, put it there, and then it showed up in the shot like that or so, which is not an unreasonable thing uh, to ask. Um, I'm kind of leaving you in the dark with that. So this video is going to be completely about how I edit and layer my photos. So I, I have a whole shot planned out that's going to be I'm specifically choosing this kind of shot because I know there's going to end up be a lot of post stuff in it, a lot of editing and uh, layering in it. Uh, so I'm going to take the shot, show you that, and then I'm going to get really into detail about how I edit the shot and I'm going to do my best with explaining it with my really old version of Photoshop I have on my really crappy slow computer. But yeah, this process is basically how I do every single shot. Um, please, you know, don't be afraid to ask me questions. I'll be more than happy to try to answer. <laughs> so I've pretty much got my shot all set up and ready. So I'm gonna take several photos, and they're probably probably gonna have quite a few layers into the final product of the shot. So I've got my Tamashi Nations. Um, they call it Movie Realization Stormtroopers. It's this really cool line given to me by Chaos Cuties on my birthday. I'm really excited to use them finally. Uh, and so he's running and he's going to be chopping up IG-88 in half. Uh, so I'm going to probably take two photos. One where his legs are kind of on the ground and then one above so then I can kind of layer that to make it look like he's getting chopped in half and then a little bit of post-production to make it all work. And probably use a little bit of sparkler action with that too to make it look like there's some sparks from him being cut up. Then I'm going to also take some shots with an explosion in the background. I'm also using this poster board behind me. So I've never tried this before. Uh, if you watched the collaboration video I did a couple weeks ago, uh, my friend Visual Force, he used it in his and I was like, hmm, I should try that. And then he got that from somebody uh, named Manny Bothins. So I want to make sure I credit this idea. This is not my idea. Um, and so I'll link both of those guys down in the description below. So I think I'm going to get started with the first shot, which will be the first one with IG-88 on the ground. Okay, so I'm putting IG-8 down here. I'm not using a wire for him to stand, so hopefully this works out okay. Also, I'm using my loom cube to make sure this is well lit. All right, and here we go with the sparkler. So the next shot is gonna be with IG-88 kind of up in the air like this. So after I edit it, it'll look like his upper half of his body is being flown out of the place after he chops him in half. So the purpose for the poster board uh, in general is to give it that black background even when we're in the day because that black background will really make any kinds of sparks or the fireworks that I use really stand out and really be contrasted with the black. So. Usually you can only get that at night, but this is kind of like a, a cheat, so you can still get the good light from the day, and then have that. It's, so hopefully this is gonna work. I'm gonna try to use this tank um, spark thing. I've never actually used this one. I've seen SGT Bananas use it. He's one of my biggest inspirations. Uh, so maybe this will emit some good sparks, hopefully. Um, so yeah, I think that's really the next step, is to get that awesome explosion that we like. What the hell? 
Okay. That one was okay. So I'm gonna try it again with our good old crackling balls. See if we get any better explosion from that. Well, there's um, one of the more frustrating things about toy photography is abiding by the laws of nature. All right, let's give it another try. And just for funsies, I want to try my big guy, just 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 cause. Okay, so we took the shot, took a bunch of different shots, actually. Uh, who knows, I'll probably only use, you know, a small fraction of the amount of shots I actually took. So now let's get into the editing. I'm going to go right into my computer, take it from here, and I'm going to do a voiceover of how I'm doing everything. Okay, so this shot on the right here is the one I'm going to actually be using. Um, and all of these other shots, this one, this one, these are ones I probably will use. I took a ton of shots, and we'll see which ones I actually need. Uh, so first here, I'm actually just taking the bottom half of IG-88 and pasting him over here, matching it up perfectly. Then I'm gonna grab the eraser tool and just kinda smooth things out so it looks good get rid of his top half there so it looks like it's sliced so now cleaning it up a little more so next I'm actually taking this shot here uh, for the upper half this one seemed to fit the best and will blend the best there's a lot of these shots that look good but they just won't blend quite as good as some of the others pasting him on here, there's his upper half flying about. So now I'm gonna take a look and find a couple shots that just have some extra sparks that just look nice, because there's plenty of them. So this one's got some good solid sparks right there. So I'm gonna draw a circle, copy, paste, and give it a turn and stick it right underneath him so it looks like there's some sparks flying underneath there. I'm gonna touch it up. Get rid of some of those edges and it's a little bit too in focus right now because the figure is not in focus but the sparks are so that doesn't match so I'm adding some blur and taking some more sparks off so that adds in nice so what I'm doing now is taking the the charred butt end of the sparkler and I'm gonna make that his kind of like chopped innards to make it look like it's like his inner body parts being sliced up. I'm going to meld that in there. It actually worked out pretty good. I wasn't expecting that. So now I'm putting in just some other explosions from the one shot with the crackling balls. Fitting it in perfect. There we go. Then I'm just going to do a little blending, make sure this looks okay and nothing looks like it's been photoshopped, hopefully. There we go. Okay, so now I'm kind of just adding individual little pieces of explosions and pasting them in to look good. And I always put the layers with the explosion, as long as it's got a black background, I always use screen as my layer type because it kind of cuts out all the black and just keeps everything else. It's very nice. A lot of the explosion looks nice, but it's just not going to blend in as well, unfortunately, so I can't use everything, but oh well. So now I'm actually going to grab some red, and I'm going to add just a little bit of uh, red to IG-88's face, so he looks like he's got his little eyes or whatever those things are. And now I'm going to merge everything so it's all one layer. 
and get rid of that wire down there. I'm using the clone tool for this part. So I just kind of select something I want to clone and then right over it, just like that. I know there's a lot of other apps and probably a lot of other ways people get rid of wires, that kind of thing, but this is how I do it. And then maybe a couple more explosions here and there. And then, after that, there's only one thing left. Where is it? Right here. Got to add the watermark. The whole Sir Dork thing. And that's it. Okay, so yeah, that was it. That was the final shot. Um, it came out okay. I'm actually kind of happy with how it looks. Um, so thank you for watching. I hope this was enlightening for you and hopefully you learned a couple things from it. If the way I explained my editing was really bad, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I did my best. I'm definitely not an editing or uh, Photoshop uh, wizard. There's a lot I could learn, but this is how I do it. Um, so thanks for watching. The, the shot's going to be on Instagram. It's going to be on Facebook, on Twitter, just like that. You know, if you go and check me out on there, um, that would be so cool. That's where I post everything. My full gallery is on any of those. Um, if you want to subscribe to the channel. Hey, I mean, uh, that'd be... Uh, but yeah, it does, it does go a long way if you do the like and subscribe stuff. So anyway, that's all that. Thank you so much. Appreciate uh, you watching the video. I appreciate you even looking at this. Maybe you just watched like the first like two minutes or less and then just exited out. That's fine. And even if you didn't watch the video and you're not even seeing this, thank you. Uh, sorry. Okay. See you in the next video. See you later. Okay. Bye.